Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you another one brand tutorial and today's brand was requested. I feel like pretty much everyone said they wanted to see this in my next one brand tutorial and that is It Cosmetics. So today's one brand is going to be featuring all It Cosmetics products. I feel like I've been using it ever since they hit the shelves at Ulta and, and maybe even when they were on QVC. I can't remember where they started out first but I remember when I was in college and I would make a trip to Ulta I would tell myself okay you can pick out one It Cosmetics product and that is it. Like do not even think about buying anything else. You can have one product uh, because obviously with me being a sophomore in college I couldn't just go in and rack up on every single uh, it product that was available so I would make my uh, selection very carefully I would spend you know like 30 minutes swatching stuff and uh, just picking out which product I felt I wanted uh, for that probably not month I would say I went to Ulta every maybe two months when I was in college but yeah I think the first it product I ever purchased was the bye bye pores loose powder and I just thought it was so soft and luxurious I just absolutely loved it uh, so it cosmetics is very reminiscent of my time when I first started getting into makeup when I was in college and I first started doing videos uh, so yeah definitely a very uh, special brand to me because I have memories of you know just loving their products and uh, a few years later you know down the road right here right now I have a pretty big selection of it cosmetics products and uh, I'm happy to share them with you guys today so we're gonna go through all of my products I created this look uh, for you guys today and if you are interested in it then let's go ahead and get started Oh, really quickly, I want to mention that I'm going to be doing my first ever Facebook Live video on November 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, which is this upcoming Tuesday. And I would love if you guys could join the video because uh, I'm doing it with Target. And I feel like a lot of people that are going to be watching aren't going to be subscribers of mine. So I would love the YouTube slash snap fam support there and they're actually going to be doing giveaways throughout the Facebook live video so I'm going to be sharing like DIY Christmas gifts uh, and also a DIY Christmas basket you could give to friends and family and I think the grand prize winner wins a $250 Target gift card plus the gift basket that I'm making uh, and then I think there's 15 other winners that get uh, various prizes along with like $25 Target gift cards. So that's going to be on my Facebook page 8 p.m. Eastern Time, November 22nd, and I will have that listed down below for you guys. So I actually have two primers by It Cosmetics. I have the Fill the Moment Skin Rejuvenating Hydrating Primer Serum and the newest Bye Bye Pores Oil Free Primer. I actually like both of these primers. I definitely feel like if you have dry skin, you will really enjoy the serum primer. And and if you're just normal and large pores, maybe even oily, the Bye Bye Pores Primer is a little bit more velvety uh, and it definitely leaves your skin feeling uh, smooth and I feel like it almost gives my skin a little bit of a mattified texture. Uh, but today I'm going to use the Fill the Moment Spa Primer. I haven't used this in a while, but it feels so good on dry skin. It feels like putting a mixture of a face oil and also a primer on your skin so um, what I find is that this really does help to kind of smooth out drier areas on my face uh, but just a quick warning it does smell like eucalyptus to me it has a very strong um, plant-based smell to it uh, definitely very similar in my opinion to eucalyptus so just a warning if you're ordering online uh, for the first time it does have a bit of a strong scent to it I have three foundations by it Cosmetics. I have their regular CC cream, which unfortunately all the shades I have in it right now are too dark for me. Uh, but I also have the CC Plus Illumination, which is a more uh, luminous version of their CC cream. And I also have the Celebration Illumination Powder Foundation. I think today I'm going to stick with the CC Plus Illumination because it's probably my favorite out of the three. I may use a little bit of the Celebration Foundation on top of it, but uh, I, everybody loves this powder foundation and I just never could get it to look good on my skin. It always looked like powder sitting on top of my skin and I'm not sure why because I've given it uh, different tries, you know, different times throughout the year when my skin was a little less dry and it just seemed like every time I used this it just looked like powder on top of my skin. So I'm going to stick with CC Plus Illumination and I've already pumped 
about one little dot on this brush and this is the heavenly skin foundation brush by it cosmetics i love all of their brushes i don't know if i have a brush in my collection that i don't like by them uh, so i'm also going to try to use as many it cosmetics brushes as i possibly can uh, so i'm going to start out with one little dot of the cc plus illumination and this one is in the shade light and i'm just going to buff that into my skin I'm going to do one more small pump on the same brush. Um, a lot of people say that the CC Plus Illumination has a silver slash gray undertone to it. And I feel like that's probably the um, like iridescent particles they use in this to give it that luminous effect. I always find that their undertones match me really well. I mean, I think that this is like a perfect match for my skin so I never really have a problem with the undertones of their CC creams but I know a lot of people um, have complaints about there being like a grayish undertone I I don't know it, it never really pulls that way on my skin I just always find that the undertones really match me nicely uh, no matter like if I'm in the medium range or light range I have a couple of It Cosmetics concealers. I have the Bye Bye Under Eye Original and also the Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. Um, I think these concealers are great if you have dark circles underneath your eyes, discoloration, redness. These color or these cover really well. Uh, however, I don't really have any under eye issues, and I do feel like the under eye uh, is a little too thick uh, for my skin type since I am pretty dry and I almost feel like when I put it on it does emphasize my uh, under eyes a little bit more than when I don't even wear concealer and I feel like that's just because I don't have any discoloration or anything like that to uh, correct so I'm just gonna skip on the concealer but just know that if you do have dark circles discoloration this is a fabulous concealer it's a nice thick consistency covers very nicely uh, so now what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to try to buff a little bit of the celebration illumination foundation on top of uh, my cc cream right now and give that a go because i haven't tried that in a while uh, and i do i, I want to like this foundation so much because everybody brags on it all the time and i just can't seem to get it uh, to work for me on its own so I'm just gonna take, this is a Target brush, a really dirt, dirty Target brush, needs to be washed, and I'm just gonna press a little bit of this into my skin. It's looking nice right now on top of the CC cream. It's still looking luminous, still looking kinda glowy and healthy, so I like that. All right, so I think that looks good as just a general kind of foundation topping powder. It added a little bit more coverage, but still didn't like dull down the total glow uh, for my under eye area I'm just gonna add like a little bit of a lighter powder underneath there since we didn't do concealer and I'm gonna use my bye bye pores pressed uh, powder and as you can see this has seen a lot of love throughout the past few months I am almost out of it and I really do like using this powder to set my under eye area um, it's good for a quick all over like face setting too, but I just feel like, I don't know, I like it best for uh, my actual under eye area. So I'm just going to press a little bit of this underneath uh, my under eye. Moving into bronzer, I do not own any IT Cosmetics bronzers, but my mom actually owns the Vitality Face Disc, which is this little guy right here. It's really popular. I feel like it's one of their most popular products. And I asked her if I could borrow it for this tutorial. And I think I've used this a couple of times when I've went over and visited with my parents. Uh, but my mom, I feel like, really likes IT Cosmetics as well. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna use her Vitality Face Disc. And I'm gonna use the bronzer in here with, uh, this is like one of my all-time favorite brushes from IT Cosmetics, possibly my favorite. And it's their Flawless Blush Brush. And uh, I just love this for contouring, bronzing, blush. You can do everything with this. So that's what I'm going to use for the bronzer. All 
Alright, so this is the bronzer. Pretty natural. Uh, it's a nice neutral color. I don't feel like it's too warm, too cool tone, so you could definitely use it as just like quick all over color. Now I'm going to move into blush. I'm going to um, use a different blush from what is in the Vitality Face Disc uh, because this I think is a really nice blush formula and it's the Bye Bye Pores blush from IT Cosmetics. And this one is in the shade Naturally Pretty. So I'm going to use this on my cheeks. I do like this blush formula. It's very, um, it's a very interesting formula. It almost feels like um, a combination of a really soft and smooth powder mixed with uh, those Maybelline bouncy blushes. Do you guys remember those uh, from the drugstore? So that's what this reminds me of a little bit. Again, since I don't really have a highlighter, I'm going to go back to the uh, Vitality Face Disc and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the highlighter that comes in it. It looks pretty nice, nice and pigmented. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. I actually used to love this pencil a lot, but since I have I uh, kind of went back to using powders on my eyebrows. I don't really reach for this as much, but if you want something quick and like no fuss, this is a really good brow pencil. I feel like uh, it doesn't apply too much color. It's a nice kind of semi-hard formula and it's got a uh, almost like an, mm, I don't know, more of a blunt tip on it to where you can really define your brows. So I would definitely say this is pretty easy to use. So for my eyes, I'm going to work from the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. And this is probably one of my favorite all matte eyeshadow palettes, if not my favorite. I love the formula of these shadows. I think the color selection is uh, really interesting yet wearable. So um, I haven't really thought about the eye look I'm going to do. I really like the uh, kind of violet and pinky shades that are in here. So maybe I'll like work off the lavender on my shirt today. So all right, so I'm going to start off with Sheer Joy, which is the lightest color in here. And I'm using my all time favorite blending brush which just happens to be from it cosmetics and it's this little guy right here it doesn't have a name on it because I got it in a holiday palette but I do feel like this is one of their permanent brushes you can get at Ulta it's just um, one of their blending brushes so I'm just gonna use that to lay down the um, base shade and this is just kind of like one of those brushes that you could probably do a complete eye look with I just, I love the way it fits my eye shape. Just something about it, I don't know. Every time I use it, it just blends so smoothly. I love it. So now I'm gonna go into All Heart, which is a nice kind of dusty mauve color. And I'm gonna start working that into my crease with the same brush. Now I'm going to take my MAC 217 and pick up the color called Violet, which is a nice purple tone color, and I'm going to work this in the outer portion of my eye. pick up love which is a really soft almost baby toned pink and I'm gonna use that to define the center of my lid Now I'm going to 
pick up Noir, which is the black in the palette on an angled brush. And I'm just going to start creating kind of like a liner effect because I don't have an eyeliner uh, by It Cosmetics. So just going to pack that onto my lower lash line. I don't know. Trying to decide. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a like kitten flick. I recently started using the superhero mascara and I really like it my only problem is is that the mascara kind of gets like caked up at the base of the wand um, and it can get a little messy uh, and if you don't rub all the excess off it will get a little clumpy but it is a good mascara despite those qualities so this is the mascara I'm gonna use and I may pop on a few individual lashes just to give the look a little bit more glare. Uh, but yeah, I do like this mascara. It's like a great, if you're just doing like a quick eye look, uh, this really will make your lashes stand out. Uh, but since I did do like a slight wing, I feel like you may not be able to see it as well. We'll see though. So I only have three lip products from It Cosmetics. I used to have more that I would order from QVC and I think I must have passed them on or passed them down to my mom. So what I have currently is their Your Lips But Better Waterproof Lip Liner Stain. I really do like this lip liner. It's in the shade Buff Nude. I saw Lauren Curtis use this a long time ago and I bought it because she used it and I really have liked it. It's a great nude lip liner. And then I have their Your Perfect Pink Je Ne Sais Quoi uh, Lip Balm. And this is the kind of popular Je Ne Sais Quoi transforming lip color. So this normally turns a pretty bright pink on me, but it looks different on everyone depending on your skin tone. Uh, so it may not look as bright on me uh, or it may not look as bright on you as it does me. And then I also have the Blurred Lines Je Ne Sais Quoi uh, lipstick and this is pretty much what uh, the Je Ne Sais Quoi lip balm turns into like the color color wise this is what it turns into on me so what I think I'm gonna do is use the Your Lips But Better lip liner and give myself a nice kind of nude base and then use just a little bit of the Blurred Lines lipstick on top not a lot though So this is the finished look. I am really happy with how it turned out. I feel like anytime I use it products, I'm never disappointed in how my makeup looks. Uh, but that highlighter from that face disc kind of came through. Like after it settled into my skin, I've got like a nice glow going on here. Uh, and the Celebration Foundation actually looks really nice on top of uh, the CC Plus cream. So yeah, definitely please with that. Uh, I feel like I've only I only ever tried this as a full-on powder foundation. So uh, maybe I will like this a little bit better as just a nice setting powder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one brand tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.